hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're not new welcome back today is going to be a compare and contrast video with the fitbit versa the google fit app and this ten dollar activity tracker that i bought from target now let's start out with the fitbit versa now i also have the photos of the data I screenshotted it from my phone because with each one you have to have the app so it's a Fitbit app um, the $10 activity tracker app is called um, your fitness and then I have the Google fit app now I conducted this experiment on Sunday afternoon so this is what the data is from all the way up until Sunday night so I did it the whole day Sunday from when I first woke up until I did my complete exercise by the end of Sunday night and got in my bed and that's when I screenshotted the actual data because I knew I wasn't going to be doing anything else for the rest of the night. So this is my data from the Fitbit app. It said I took 14,469 steps and it counted the floors I guess for me like elevating or whatever walking up stairs or something I don't know and then it said I clocked 4.87 miles. I'll burn 2,456 calories and then it says 73 minutes the minutes I looked it up it's supposed to be of me doing the same activity um, for that long so I'm assuming it's counting the steps and the um, treadmill and stuff that I did because I did do treadmill that night and then like all the steps are for me walking around all day at work and all that stuff the next set of data is from the Google Fit app. It said I had 158 move minutes out of 80 minutes. Now on the Fitbit app, it said I had 73 minutes of the same activity. So this move minutes and the same activity is different. So keep that in mind. And I had 21 out of 5 heart points. The heart points on the Google Fit app is when um, you do an activity for an extended period of time at a high heartbeat rate so instead of me just walking normally it's like if you say if I'm walking like regular and then I start speed walking the speed walking would start would count as the heart points and it said I have 12,713 steps 2,346 calories burned and 3.75 miles as you can see on the Google Fit app it's 2,000 less steps at least 2,000 and the calorie burns they were kind of close and then the miles is like a mile off as well because it was over four miles on the other one and this 3.75 now this is from the little ten dollar activity tracker now this only recorded 9,000 steps now keep in mind I've been using this tracker the ten dollar one that I got since June so imagine how many steps that were left off of my tracker because at the end of the day when I'm off of work I look up see how many steps and stuff I take and it's always leaves around 5,000 and then I have to go to the gym and put an extra extra work to get to the 10,000 I'm like it seems like I've taken way more steps in this and it actually was I wasn't crazy and it says I burned 407 calories, 3.97 miles, and it said the quality was good. So that's the data from, from the actual steps on Sunday. Also on the $10 activity tracker, it said I slept 6.3 hours. My deep sleep was 3 hours. My light sleep was 2 hours. And I woke up um, 4 times. And I'm going to compare it with the Google, I'm going to compare it with the Fitbit Versa app. Because the Google Fit app, they don't trace the sleep. So, so this is my sleep from, this is the Monday data. So it's from Sunday night. So keep in mind, it just says Monday up there, but it's from actually Sunday night. And it only calculated 5.35 minutes. So. The 10 hour activity tracker sleep data says it was 6.5, so that's way more than what I actually slept because I actually did wake up at 6.15. I actually woke up at 6.15, so when my alarm went off, so I had to be to work at 7. And it shows when I awake, 
I woke up at four, about four o'clock in the morning to use the bathroom and it had calculated it right there. It shows my deep sleep. My deep sleep was only early. Then my rest and sleep and then the light sleep, which is because you're getting ready to wake up. You don't want to oversleep. So, yeah, so this sleeping data is way more accurate as well. And so I was curious. So yesterday I did another step tape, another step test. I didn't use the 10 hour activity tracker because I just didn't want to wear two watches. It looked crazy. I know people were wondering why I had them on the first time. But this is my results from last night, which was Monday. I took 14,632 steps. It had the two floors again, the 4.97 miles, over 3,000 calories, and it said my minutes was 11. So I did not work out at the gym last night, so this is just strictly off of me working yesterday and running my errands when I got off. So I wanted to know, so since the Google Fit app was very close next, last time, I wanted to compare it again just to see if it would have picked up the same exact data so this is from the fitbit versa and this is from the google fit app now i said it had 127 move minutes out of 80 2.2 out of 5 heart points and the steps were only 10,000. so this time it was 4,000 less compared to the 2,000 that was from the other day that was from sunday this was 4,000 left with a lot of steps to be left on the table and it said my calories was two thousand two hundred and thirty five and my miles was two point three five so this literally my miles were literally half two it was over my miles were two over two miles off because I was almost five miles on the other ones and my calories are over a thousand and something less here too as well but I'm gonna still keep tracking it because I like it for like the heart points and stuff and I like compare it to like the month data and the week's data that I already previously done so the app is on my phone, so I'm not going to delete my phone. It's just going to have to just keep tracing, but I'm just going to be using the Fitbit Versa data for my fitness goals. So, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. This was a little experiment that I did with the Fitbit Versa, a $10 activity tracker from Target called Gems. It's from the Gym Brands and the Google Fit app. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like these types of videos. If you're looking to get a Fitbit Versa, is it on sale this week everywhere at $149.99 on all Amazon, Kmart, Walmart, Target, Macy's, Kohl's, or any of those stores are in your area. If you're looking to boost your fitness for 2019, I suggest you get it. I finally bit the bullet and I bought me one. I was being cheap, buying all the lower level ones, the little $10 one, but it wasn't tracking everything. And this has way more features than that one. The other one only trapped my steps. My sleep, which wasn't really accurate, and calories, which wasn't really accurate either. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video. Like this video. Have any other questions or concerns? Leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching me. Bye.